So today I bring you a friend who I have known oh, so many ways and done so many things with, but the one thing that stands out is the infamous bathtub scene where I declare that this is not a beach, it's a bathtub. That is Jonathan Morgan who directed that masterpiece and did not know what a big deal it was. Jonathan, uh, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you today? I'm good, I'm good. Jonathan, we have a ton of history and it goes in the business of my whole career. So I wanna go back and ask you, when did you get into the business and how did you get into the business? Ah. Um, well, I got in the business in 1990, and uh, as funny as it might sound, I actually got in the business as a dare. Um, I was working uh, at the time for a uh, major. You said host. a dare, a dare. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was working at the time for a major hotel chain. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the name or not. Okay, we don't have to. We don't have to include. Uh, um, and I was working, uh, a lot of, uh, I was working in the banquet department and, uh, my roommate at the time who also worked in the banquet department. Anyway, we, we threw this big party and, uh, you know what, I, God, I might even have a picture of it. Uh, if you want to see it was, uh, back in the day, I know we're going, uh, let me see. I, I know I have it. Um, this was, we were doing a toga party of all things, toga. At this hotel. Anyway, huh? At this hotel, 1990. No, it's 1990, but we're having it at, at not at the hotel. We worked at the hotel, but uh, okay. we're having it over at our apartment that we shared together. He was my roommate. Uh, and anyway, long story short, uh, we popped in, one, somebody did, I don't know who did, but they popped in an adult movie. It was for Vivid Video. And in oh, the movie- was around. Yeah, in the movie of all things was um, uh, Tom Byron and I forget who the girl was at the time. But the point is, is that my roommate saw Tom Byron and said, oh, my gosh, if a skinny guy like that can get into porn, uh, I could get into porn, meaning himself. And I was like, dude, I could, you know, because he was just all body, but he had, you know, nothing up here. And I was like, okay. going, oh, I could get into it because I was doing acting and stuff. So okay. I thought, oh, with my acting background, it would probably help me out. So we decided to, our, the dare was who could get into porn first and whoever <laughs> wins, the other person pays for that month's rent. Long story short, <laughs> long story short, I end up getting into the adult business and I have let me see if I can it's okay. pull it Let me up. just 1990 to get into the business. What did you do? Did you go to Jim South's office? Yeah, that was the that was the only thing that was available was Jim South. Oh I mean, my god, was, on Van Nuys Boulevard. Yeah, <laughs> on Van Nuys. So do you I remember no the visual of Jim South's office? Okay, I remember the large ashtrays that were just filled with cigarette butts. Right. Oh, what about all the, the all the pictures on the wall? Yes. I was going to get there. All the creepy pictures on the wall. But then even worse, do you remember the Polaroid books that you could go through and see everybody standing naked in that hallway yes. with the blue wall? <laughs> yes. It, it was. And, and of course, everyone and on the guys, the guys just look like, you so know, it's shitless. Just, oh, my God. Well, for it was some terrifying. guys, it may have been the first time they were alone having their photo taken in a hallway from a guy they'd never met before, right? There's a lot to unpack there. And you can see the fear in their eyes. And I remember looking through those books. So did your friend also go into Jim's house office? No, he 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 tried something else. He, he was mailing. I think he mailed stuff to Vivid Video and maybe to somebody else. But he did everything by mail. I, you know... Uh, I took the on the porn that was playing at the time. I took the box. God, remember when they used to have the big boxes and stuff? Uh, so I take the box that the movie was in and I turned it over and there it's a vivid video and it had a phone number. And so all I did was just call that number. The receptionist <laughs> said, hey, we don't hire male talent directly. You have to go to this guy named Jim South. And she gave me the number and I called him up and well, I found myself in that Polaroid book, and I was probably in that Polaroid book for, uh, gosh, at least a good three months. Now, I, 
how I was raised, I was always raised with uh, two entrepreneur parents, and they really taught me uh, a, a really good work ethic. And one of the things that was key was the whole famous analogy, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Yeah. So I would call up Jim every Friday, like clockwork, for three months. Finally, when I called him up, and he could actually recognize my voice, and he goes, hey, Jonathan. And I was going, hey, Jim, just checking in to see if you got anything for me. And he said, and I think it was, the, the one thing about porn, and I think you'll agree with me, Lisa, is that a lot of the times it comes down to just right place at the right time. Yeah. yeah. And so what ended up happening is here I am bugging Jim South and sitting across his desk was one at that time, one of the most famous directors. Um, Remember, um, oh God, yeah, and of course now it's slipping my mind. Uh, um, it was Tori Wells' husband. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, Paul something. It wasn't Stanley, was it? Was it Paul Stanley? Was it Paul? No. Mm, okay, pass. Well, it'll okay. come to us. It'll come to us. Okay. So oh, anyway. He shot for Vivid for years. He shot for yeah. Vivid for years. And he, his movies. Paul that, Thomas. Paul, Paul Thomas. Yeah. Boom. And, and, he made beautiful movies. That's why. Okay. Boom. Thank you. And that. so he was doing a movie that involved prosthetics and it involved uh, the male, the lead male talent wearing a three foot long fake penis. And it was for a movie called Bigger, uh, which was a spoof on the Tom Hanks movie Big. And so he, he uh, Jim South puts Paul on the phone uh, I'm like, Hey, listen, I'm, I'm want to get in this business and stuff like that. And he says, would you completely shave everything down there and let me glue on a three foot long penis for this movie I'm doing? And I'm like, okay. Little did I know that that glue would end up giving me a rash for a month and a half. But oh. I ended up getting my very first movie, uh, which was called bigger. And uh, I ended up getting on the box cover, and that's the first of you know many movies after that. O M G.